Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, Cisco Collaboration Instructor at VoiceBootcamp.com. In this video, you're going to learn overview of Cisco Collaboration Solution Architecture. Now, system architecture lays the foundation upon which all the components of Cisco Unified Communication, uh, communication and Collaboration Systems are deployed. Now, Cisco Collaboration Solutions incorporates several advanced application services, including Cisco Unified Communication Manager, IMN Presence, uh, Cisco Java, Unified Communica uh, Unity Connection, and many other third-party application. These figures will shows you the products in this architecture. For simplicity, the products are grouped into modules to help you categorize and define their roles. So we're going to talk about each uh, component individually to give you a little bit over uh, overview about what they are and what their roles are and when do you need to use them. Now, the call control, which is probably the most important aspect of your unified communication that is designed to provide uh, registration, call processing, resource management, instant messaging and presence for users and endpoint. Now, in our environment, there are two products that are falls into that call control. One is Cisco Unified Communication Manager and IMN Presence. Now, Cisco Unified Communication Manager becomes a call control devices for IP phones, video terminal, whereas IMN Presence becomes a call control device along with CUCM uh, for Cisco Jabbers. So we're going to look at both of them more independently in more details. It also encompasses remote site survivability for remote offices should uh, your remote branch office use your call manager in your head office as a call control device. Now, of course, every company has some sort of conferencing requirement. Uh, so conferencing allows three or more parties, parties to communicate via voice and video as well as content sharing in real time. Resources can be either on-premise or hosted on a cloud. So if you are going to use conference solution from Cisco, for example, in our environment, we have something like a Cisco meeting server somewhere right here. And that can be a conference solution for your on-premise network. Or you could use something from cloud such as WebEx, uh, GoToMeeting, or various other third-party uh, products that you have can act as conference solutions as well as well collaboration edge which is <clears throat> a product that allows you to have external registration uh, coming into internal so collaboration edge provides remote registration services external communication and interoperability between microsoft skype and a cisco uh, platform you could have tele telecommunicator workers who are working from either hotel branch office or different or their home and they want to be able to securely communicate with your infrastructure such as CUCM without having to have a VPN and whatnot. So users will use, uh, connect from outside uh, via the Expressway E and then to Expressway C to come inside your infrastructure. And you will learn how to deploy that in our uh, CCNP collaboration module where you will uh, actually deploy so that you can register from your smartphone uh, using SSL certificate to or using TLS connection to your in infrastructure as if you're just right inside the organization. Uh, Cisco Unity Connection, which is of course your voice messaging platform and can be used for messaging, uh, providing voice messaging, uh, unified messaging such as when someone leaves a voicemail to you, it will come to you as an email where you could check your voice message from your by dialing it from your smartphone. You can share the same uh, inbox for both your voicemail as well as email. You could dial in to check your appointment, stuff like that. So pretty much a very a, a uni a complete unified messaging solution from Cisco uh, solution. Cisco uh, Prime Collaboration, which is kind of like a management platform deployment helps you manage Cisco Unified Communication application. It allows user to perform tasks such as migration of from older version to newer version. It allows you to upgrade, allows you to do a fresh install, uh, allows you to change host name and IP address and manage your cluster more properly. 
if you have hundreds of deployment to do or manage for example you want to upgrade a call manager or cucm server somewhere in uk and you're sitting in physically in toronto or new york you can use the collaboration prime collaboration deployment to manage the cluster that you have in uk and actually automate the upgrade task and schedule it on a specific time so very useful tool if you are doing if you're responsible for a lot of deployment stage of the work um, collaboration management service which is internet-based web portal that provides simplified and enterprise-wide management of your licensing which is Cisco smart software licensing provides an administrator with a single management point for unified communication manager and unity connection license within the deployment model Cisco prime collaboration provisioning and NA uh, which is another app management application that allows you to rapid configuration of collaboration system by providing a central centralized template based console so for example you can set up a, a template that says anytime we have a new branch office coming up we want to use this template to configure the solution for that users in branch office and the template will have all the necessary configuration the restrictions the privilege the users or whatever that you need so that you can deploy for each branch office for example banks would be a, a, a ideal solution banks usually have many branch office throughout the country they want to have, make sure that every branch office have exactly the same config. You would use provisioning tools to set up a template with all the configurations that the branch office should have or the endpoint should have. And you can push that configuration to that branch office location every time a new location pops up. Security. Now, like I say, security is going to be vital because of the integration of hybrid and a cloud infrastructure. So you need to understand security very well. Security incorporates the compliance of security features ranging from features that are enabled by default to the features that are also recommended by deployment. So there are certain features that are uh, enabled by default, and then there are certain features of security that you need to activate them based on your requirement. Some examples feature include, for example, unauthorized access protection, single sign-on authentication, uh, fraud, a uh, toll fraud protection, certificate generation, management, etc. And it prov provisions and enables encryption for all in component within these solutions. Bandwidth management, <clears throat> of course. Now, bandwidth management incorporate an end-to-end -end QoS architecture, call admission control. Vo uh, video rate adaptation, resiliency mechanism to provide the best possible user experience for deploying a preserve, uh, preservative vo uh, video over managed and unmanaged network. Now, because video is becoming our uh, part of our day-to-day -day, uh, communications, you want to be able to provision your bandwidth to ensure that the quality of the traffic is good, ensure that the network is optimized, uh, you make sure that the pro priority traffics are handled properly. All these are managed using the manage bandwidth management. Now, of course, uh, at the end of the day, when we are designing infrastructure, we need to size our environment, right? We need to make sure that we know we have capacity planning in place. We know that if we are growing in next six to eight months, some company grow exponent, you know, uh, suddenly spike 20, 30 hires. Uh, some company may hire hundreds of user uh, employees. Can your environment handle that? So we use sizing tool to provision in advance how much growth we are anticipate in the next two years, next five years, and so and so. And Cisco provides various sizing tools that allows you to provision what application you need, what servers you need to purchase, how many licenses you need to purchase, all those elements. And we will talk about more details about them as we go through this course. So I hope you got an idea about what the Cisco collaboration architecture is all about and what are the components that we are going to be focusing on for the next uh, multi, uh, subsequent chapters throughout this course. I hope you found some in this uh, chapter to be very useful. I will see you in the next video.